What is up guys, Mr. Sonic Skills here and today we are playing some Sword Art Online. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love this anime so much and like, I, I saw it the other day and oh, I couldn't have grabbed it quick enough. But I have to play this. So I've already played a bit of it but um, I'm going to start again and maybe do it on hard mode. So, yeah, so let's see how that goes. I, no idea, but you never know. Most likely I'll die like 4,000 times, but meh. So here we go. I just said fart, but it's fart. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> the flying in this game is so good. Like, honestly. Meow. <laughs> It just looks so peaceful, doesn't it? Like, I don't know. Woglinda. I hope I said that right, didn't butcher it, but... Here we are. Looks like it. Daddy! You... Looks like it. Ah. Hmm, good question. Woglinda. The island of meadows. That's easy enough. Yeah. Kazuto Kirigaya. Yeah, let's go over the basics. Why not? Practice makes per it does. Perfect practice makes perfect. Okay. 
Basic movements. Use left stick to move. On, I, I don't know if I can do this. Slow down. While moving, L press R1 to dash. All right. Okay. Gonna lose those stamina points though. Oh no. I don't know if I can do it. No, we're good. Run! Oh, we're running. I'm jumping. Jumping and running. Pat? I'm not Pat. I'm Kirito. Talk about search points. Search points and glowing spots you'll see in outdoor areas and in dungeons. By examining them you can discover the current the currency of Svart Alfheim yield or items. Hey Kirito look, there's a search point right over there. Over there After you approach a search point you can examine it by pressing a circle. Why not give it a try? Sure. Approach the search point. We can do this. No pressure. No pressure. Alright, B. Oh, we did it. We're off to a flying start right now. You found yield. You can find both yield and items for enhancing your weapons, crafting materials from search points. Search points can be found on both the ground and in the sky. Make sure to examine any you found. I will. Okay then, next on our list of things to practice are floating mode and flight mode. <laughs> Hiccup. When you want to get off the ground and into the air, press the directionals to switch to your current mood. There are two different modes of aerial movement and floating movement lets you hover. Flight movement lets you soar like a bird. Come on big brother, let's try floating. Right, okay. Left or right, hold A, X to ascend and tap X, right. <coughs> Try going as high as you can. Just blaze! Right. Oh, we're going up! Oh, this is so cool. If you attempt to go any higher, you will hit the area's altitude limit. Yeah, and you will plummet to your doom. In Svartalfheim, each area has its own altitude limit. If you try to go beyond the altitude limit, floating or flight mode will be cancelled and you'll fall. Be careful! Let's practice a lot more, daddy. Please float back to the ground, you can descend by pressing X. It can be pretty scary, but you can press down to switch to walking mode and free fall back down to the ground. Alright. You're counting on me. Oh god. Too much pressure. Ah! We survived. Oh my god. That should be everything from floating mode. Our next lesson will be practicing flight mode. Right, okay. I believe I can fly. Press up to switch to flight mode. In flight mode you'll be automatically fly forward using the left stick to freely control your movements in the air. Still. You can also increase your speed by dashing even... and even da 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 which lets you fly even faster. Huh. You were... A noob! A total noob. Yeah, I was a total noob. 
When you first start flying Kirito, but you've gotten the hang of it pretty quickly. I agree, Daddy is amazing. Damn right, I'm amazing. Let's practice. Fly to the glowing point well in flight mode. Remember, oh, there I am. Okay, so we are going over there. Yep. Yeah. This is so cool. My God. And land here. Stop! Stop! There we go. Sweet. How do it kill, don't I? Oh, keep in mind that both dashing and aerial drives use up stamina when you're in flight mode. However, it can be very useful when you want to close in on a pesky enemy in a hurry. Alright. <gasps> There's some enemies! What's next? Battle! Let's see with the basics. Make sure we don't forget anything. There are two types of attacks. Weak attacks and strong attacks. X and Y. Strong attacks use stamina but they are very powerful. When you attack your weapon will automatically be drawn. Press in R1 to switch between having drawn or sheathed. The trick is to press R1 lightly or quickly. You still haven't learned any magic, but when you do, remember, your weapon needs to be sheathed for you to cast magic. Look over there, an enemy! Let's fight it. I will, I'll do my best. Alright, let's do this. You there! Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Take that! Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. More enemies. Oh no. They look tough, actually. I just said that. They do. Ah. Press circle and R1 and circle to dodge. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not very good at dodging, as you're about to witness, but I'll get better. You there! Or you there! Oh my god. Boom! Alright! Do you remember how to dodge guard and perform recovery? Kinda. Maybe. The timing of the dodge and attack or to press R1 and circle to guard seems like it might be a bit hard to get down. It can be but it is worth the effort to master. Now let us continue practicing by learning lock on. L1. I know that. Correct. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. You first. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, is that so? Take that. I am fantastic. Thank you. Oh, we dropped some yield. Defeating enemies can drop yield, weapons, and other items. This finishes today's lessons. You can fight monsters around and in the battlefield. All right, guys, that was just a wee quick um, practice of Sword Art Online. There, um, I will continue the series in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.